Woohoo! Okay, y'all want me to step on hot coals, so I'm gonna step on the hot coals. Ah, uh, Rocco! First of all, I'm Terrell Hall of Fame, D Line, TBKC, and all that sweet, beautiful, wonderful shit. Rocco, aka Rocco Mania, superstar. And uh, it's, it's a controversy going on about Rocco right now, which is actually an older controversy, but it's been rehashed because um, another client or whatever has uh, put it out there. But I guess an individual had a uh, Rocco Mania puppy and they did their testing and they found out that the dog has um, an issue that throws um, eye issues, basically, not to go into all the medical terms, but, you know, can lead to blindness. Um, I told y'all previously about another individual who had did some testing that wanted to use Rocco and it was a similar issue and it's, it's a history of Rocco throwing some uh, issues with the dogs. And, uh, you know, it's been around for a long time and people have known about the issues that comes with the dog. We're not talking about judging him show wise. And uh, of course, people still tend to use the dog or tend to use a lot of his blood. Um, without being too brash and, you know, not being too um, over the top, you know, it's very, very uh, simple. The dog, um, from my point of view, should not have been bred for multiple reasons. And um, although impressive, I'm gonna tell you that. Not and y'all, some of y'all like, huh? But when I seen Rocco in person, I was impressed with his size, man. Very big dog, very pretty dog. Not a show dog, but a very big, pretty dog. I have to give it to him. But he's not an American bully. He looks more like an uh, American bulldog with cropped ears. And that's not taking shots, I'm being honest, or whatever. But when I tell you, you know, he's a sight to behold when you see him, but he's just not an American bully. But, um, you know, uh, I won't break the dog down physically, but one of the biggest issues I've always had with Rocco is that he comes from exotics. You know, his, uh, I think her his grandmother's name is Madness or something like that. She's an exotic, you know what I mean? You look up his pedigree, you'll see her there. If you look up the history on the bitch, she's an award-winning exotic. She's That's what she is. She was promoted as an exotic. She is an exotic dog. So if you are making an American bully or using an American bully to make American bullies, then you, you have to um, go into the genetic profile that this is an exotic behind the dog. Is, is it truly an American bully? Because we've always said that an exotic is not an American bully, right? So if you're using this dog and we know all of the issues that come along with exotics, even if it's a small percentage, which would be 25% of that dog's blood and would be lessened down to 12.5, like I said in the previous video, you know, into your breeding, you are breeding this into your blood, you know? So it's something that you always have to think about. And now that it's been brought up and we know very, very well that this dog has some issues that it does throw, you have to be on point with all those issues and you have to be accountable for all those issues to make sure that you breeding a healthy dog, you know? So I don't know what better to tell y'all. It's not that, uh, it's not hating. It's just being realistic that when these type of things come out, yes, you are uh, committing to breed a dog that has some health issues, you know, and especially some vision issues amongst other issues that people have complained about with the dog, you know? You know, do it with care, man. That's all I can say. You know, um, Khan, in fairness, Khan has disputed these things, you know. Um, he has, at one point, I think he posted a picture or something of that sort that said, you know, Rocco doesn't have any issues, you know. So with that being said, you know, I mean, it's a dispute or, or uh you know, between multiple people who say that he has these issues and even more people who say that he's passing these issues on to his puppies and Khan who said he used the lab and had his dog DNA tested and he doesn't have those issues in his line. And um, I won't even go into whether I believe who or whatever, y'all could probably guess, but uh, that, you know, that's just being stating both parts of the story. And, uh, you know, it'll be up to y'all to do y'all research or whatever if y'all decide y'all want to use the dog. But until next time, much love, peace.